Is your life boring and dull? Hey, eyes up here, eyes up here. Anyways, baby, you just need some color. Now to start off, I start by using log, specifically S-Log, since I have a Sony camera. This can turn a gloomy day into a vibrant day. Yo. <laughs> Can I be in the video? Yeah. <laughs> now there's no specific way to color grade, as long as it's not bad. So when it comes to log, from a beginner's perspective, I like to think of it as a coloring book. A coloring book comes brand new with no colors added, allowing the user to add whatever color they want. So let's think of this green car as the non-log footage that comes out of your camera. So let's say I want to color this green car yellow. As you can see, I can't because it's already colored. I got a little hint of yellow in there, but this is not the image I'm looking for. So let's think of Log as the blank canvas and me, the artist who can color in whatever color they want. Literally, whatever color you want. And that's Log for you. Log is much flatter than standard video and captures more dynamic range and more information to your camera. Now, don't think that only log can be graded. You can grade any type of footage, but log just gives you the most room to work with. All right, so I know a lot of color grading tutorials will have people color grading with LUTs, but I wanted to show you guys without all that, like strictly from scratch. This is before I could actually even buy LUTs. This is how I used to color grade. It's not necessarily orthodox, but this is how I do it. So as you can see, we have our clip here, very bright, very, very log, very flat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use Lumetri color. So we're going to go and click window workspaces, and then we're going to find color. Some people drag and drop Lumetri color, but I just like to start editing because it already adds the effect to it. What we're going to do first is open our curves. We have this long solid line right here. We have our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. Now, the way I like to grade is literally what looks good to me, but sometimes our eyes or our monitor may fool us. So we have Lumetri scopes over here. So we're gonna click that and we have our waveform in RGB. If you don't have this, just right click, click waveform. Then for waveform type, click RGB. So we have this thing that goes from zero to 100. We can think of the zeros as the darkest part of our image and up here, the lighter part of our image. And our goal is to literally just have it evenly distributed along that line. So now what I'm going to do is click here and adjust my shadows down. I'm going to put it right about here. Now for our highlights, you can see that it's a little low. So we're gonna go ahead and up our highlights. Now you can see that if we go too far, we start to do this thing called clipping and we don't want it to clip. So we're gonna adjust it right on down, right about here. We're gonna adjust it down right about here. You can see we have these little fuzzies right here. I'm just going to put it down. Now for our midtones, we also wanna just evenly distribute it. So I'm going to place mine right about here and I'm actually gonna put down my highlights a tad bit I personally like my highlights down so now we have this image here and it's looking a little less flat but we still got to add some color to it now some people use the color wheels I used the color wheels when I first started but then I found myself just using the RGB curves keep in mind color grading is a stylistic choice and this may not be orthodox but this is how I used to do it so I'm going to go ahead and add some reds into my shadows like so. My midtones, I'm going to pull it down a bit and up here to my highlights. I'm just going to pull that right about there. Keep in mind, it's stylistic. This is Miami. So I'm trying to make it popping, vibrant, you know, Miami. So now we have our greens and what I'm going to do is just add some more greens in our shadows like so as you can see our trees are right here for our midtones i'm going to put it up a little bit because i want my water to look a tad bit green but not too green and then in our highlights we're just gonna just add a tad bit down 
Now for our blues, I'm gonna add a little less blue in my highlight like so. Now my mid tones, as you can see, I'm going to just add a little bit, take out a little bit less like so. And in our shadows, I am going to drop that down due to the fact that I want a warmer image. So now you can see we have a little bit of color here, but it still needs a little bit of work. I personally like a lot of contrast in my videos. So to do all this different grading, we're gonna go to basic correction. Here I'm gonna up my contrast ever so slightly. I'm gonna pull up my shadows just a little bit to show those trees. Personally, I like my whites down. And then these are your blacks right here, as you can see. I'm going to up it a little bit. Now, I personally, as I said before, don't like my highlights too light. So I am just going to drop that down a tad bit. And then we have temperature and tint over here. My white balance was pretty right, I think. So I don't need to use this dropper and go ahead and, you know, select the white. So what I'm going to do is simply just select my temperature and I'm going to push it up just a tad. And then for my tint, I'm gonna put it right about here. So we're just gonna adjust it kind of like so. So now we have this here. And keep in mind when you're grading, you're always gonna go back and tweak it just a tad bit. So I'm just going to fix that down just a tad bit. And then for my saturation, I'm just gonna put it at like 120-ish. And now we have our image here. So now we have this and if we want to apply the same similar color to this clip, we can copy our Lumetri color tab right here. And then we can go to this frame and paste it right on top. So now we have this clip and as you can see, this clip still looks pretty good, but it's different from our other one. I like the colors, but we're just going to color correct it a tad bit. So for instance, let's go back to our curves our shadows here, let's go to Lumetri Scopes. You can see that it's almost hitting zero. I personally don't like it that far down. So we're just going to up that a little bit. See our highlights are a little low, so we're gonna up it like so. And then for our mid-tones, I want it just like there, just right there. And then boom. So boom, that's how you can add the same effect to that. Now, there's loads of free LUTs online, but now we're gonna talk about Sony specific Rec. 709 LUTs. So now if you head over to Sony, you can see that we have the look profile for Resolve. You have S-Log 2, you have S-Log 3. I use this one, so we're gonna go ahead and download that one. Now the way I apply color is I go to get an adjustment layer. You can get that by clicking new item, adjustment layer, then okay, and place it on top. So now we're back to our regular log footage. So what we're gonna do to apply this, these LUTs is we're going to select our adjustment layer, click basic correction, input LUT, browse, and then we have these LUTs right here. As you can see, it brings in color to the video for both clips. So what I'm going to do now from here is you simply just go ahead and add your style. Go ahead and add more color go ahead and correct it. But that's really how you can use this Rec. 709 LUT. Now, if you guys wanna see how I color grade my videos, I'm going to have a video here pretty soon. But thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like, subscribe. Don't kill me if I didn't color grade the way you wanted, but I'm just showing you an easy way on how I started color grading. Make sure to subscribe. I'm out.